Hello Gemini, how are you today? In today's reading, it is for couples, guys. We're going to be looking into relationships today. So if you're in a relationship, this is for you. Um, we're going to get our two energies, you and your person, and also get an energy of the joint relationship and spirit guide advice for you leaving the reading as well. Um, this was a, a requested reading, by the way, by Fire Eyes. Thank you so much. You're so amazing um, for requesting this reading. If you've got a topic that you would like me to do a reading on, comment below and let me know. Then I'll give you a shout out and, and do it for you. So let's have a look and see. Wow, like thousands of cards have fallen. I don't know why, but in this um, reading that I've been doing since I started the group of uh, the Zodiacs, every time I do a reading, the cards are falling. So let's see what is making this happen. Let's have a look and see. We've got some cards that revealed itself here. So I'm going to go with what fell, you see. And we've got a Six of Pentacles. <clears throat> that is an energy of a bit of unfair treatment. Whoa, guys, we've also got a five of emotions that's showing itself as well. Let's see what else comes up here. Let's have a look and see. We've got a death card in someone else's energy. This should be one person's energy here. And this is someone else's energy on this side here. Let me just make sure all those cards can be seen. There we go. Um, something is really up here. There is some kind of unfair treatment going on here. And it, it's got to do with this death card. It's got to do with the three of cups in the reverse position. This is in someone else's energy. Um, you can reverse energies anytime you want to. It is a general reading. But from what I'm seeing here, it looks to me like some kind of unfair treatment. An unbalanced situation is happening here with regards to the six of pentacles, which is the six of materials energy. This is where the problem comes in. Um, it's got to do, honestly, I feel like this is a person, if you're in this relationship with them, um, I'm going to tell you the truth. I don't think that this is the first time that you guys were kind of like with each other and not with each other. This looks to me like a relationship that's been kind of back and forth kind of energy. Like you were with them and then you might break up with them and a little bit later you get back together again, but you keep on getting the same kind of treatment over and over. Why I'm saying this? Because your person, or possibly you, has got the three of um, the, death, the death energy in the reverse position, which talks about that um, rebirth of something again and again. This might be the second time or even more more guys that you back together with them as a couple or something you know and um, this is really hurting you do I do feel like this is your energy I honestly do because of what I'm looking at on this side here um remember even if you're a cross watcher you can reverse this around it's a it's a general reading this unfair treatment is causing the Five of Cups to come up in your energy. The Five of Cups energy, that's hurt and pain. That's also sometimes a bit of a cold treatment as well when somebody's a bit cold towards you and it makes you feel like you're isolated. You can feel their coldness as well. This also with the Six of Pentacles being there, which is the Six of Materials here, um, it is, it's an energy of somebody giving more than the other one is uh, giving. So someone's just sort of taking and not really responding or giving back the equal amount of um, the balance that should be happening here. This is what is causing the pain to come in. Um, one of the things I'm picking up here as well, I think it's got something to do with this three of emotions here, this behavior, their attention. I'm just going to put this one out there. I feel like their attention is not on you. Their attention is on other people people you know um i don't know in what context this is because this talks about a group of people the three of cups emotion in the reverse position it can be work it can be friends it can be like having a lot of friends and going out and always being on the phone with them instead of really being on the phone with you kind of energy it's like they're going out they're going to go spend time an evening out and it's not like you guys are going out on a romantic date together they're going out with a group of friends and this is can be what the attention is what's causing this attention to be out here because this is what's came what has come up by the way guys please hit that thumbs up button and even subscribe and comment below because it does help my videos to do well as well and you'll be able to get tomorrow's reading if you subscribe to the channel so let's get in here let's have a look at the energy of the actual relationship here um with this death energy i do feel like this has been going on for a while this person kind of comes in and pulls out and comes in there you go there's the pull out energy so currently in this moment we've got a bit of a pull out energy happening here and um, this is a back and forth energy I can pick that up. I picked it up quite immediately when this came out here. And when that one came out, I was like, yeah, that's definitely what's going on here. Um, they, it's almost like they lose attention or they lose focus on you. And right now, currently, that's what they're doing. 
They got the four of swords energy. So it tells me the relationship itself. It's almost like there's nothing happening in it. It's like it's cooling. It's like there's somebody's laid down and, and not paying attention. And it's caused the relationship to kind of like stop or get stuck or not be able to move on. And this is this energy of, of what is going on here. Let's have a look and see what else comes up in the relationships energy for you. Let's see. Whoa. Um, at the bottom of the deck, I just actually turned, sometimes I like to look on the bottom of the deck when I shuffle and out came the Eight of Cups energy. Um, this is definitely what is going on in this connection right now. Um, without a doubt, they're not paying attention in this relationship. It almost feels like the relationship is already over. It's, it might be you going, is this already over? Is this relationship already over? And it's really hurting you as well. They're just focusing on other things here. It's almost like they came in with the death energy. Let's restart this relationship. When they restarted the relationship, it's like they changed their mind somewhere along the line. And that's the problem. With the Eight of Cups here, that's them actually walking away and even them holding back on top. Both of these cards talk about... You know, the interest is gone. I'm not paying attention to this anymore. So this is the energy of the relationship. That's what's hurting you. So let's get some spirit guide advice for you out here. Whoa. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see what advice comes through for you guys. Yeah, there's an energy of you needing to balance your energies here. I see it from this. This is the part. Remember, there's an unbalance happening here already. So they are already... Um, showing an unbalance that is already occurring in this relationship. And here we go. Um, this energy of needing to balance spirituality and practicality, which is full moon in Pisces. This is an unbalanced energy. I feel like this message is meant for you. Um, one of the things that's coming through here, when they talk about spirituality, yes, we talk about um, being enlightened and all those things, but spirituality is very closely related to our emotions. It's re and especially because this is a Pisces energy. So this emotion energy is what is coming through here. And this is what is unbalanced. And also what is unbalanced, there's the emotion down here, is the practicality. So the practicality is the six of materials, the six of cups energy. And that is also unbalanced from the very beginning of the reading. If this relationship cannot get balanced in emotion plus practicality, then you are going to have a problem with this person. Let's see what else comes up here. Let's get one more Moonology deck out, card out for you and kind of see what they've got to say. Whoa, you need to be careful. This person may keep on repeating this. Literally says void of course energy. Nothing will come of this situation. So this, nothing will come of the situation. It is void, of course, moon energy. And I have to tell you, Gemini, this is one of the hardest cards that I get out of the Moonology deck. Whenever I see it come up, it can mean several different things. But it depends on what is happening in the cards that it, it's, it's talking about. And what I can see here, I think your person is going to continually begin and start this relationship and pull away again and again. It will never really get to the place of where you want it to be which is something like the Ten of Pentacles or the Ten of Cups energy, a stable relationship, they will continuously keep on repeating this behavior, unfortunately, guys, over and over again. And if you don't see them coming in with a very balanced energy of total give and take, that would be your sign to understand that they will continuously keep doing this. Spirit Guide is like literally being so straightforward with you guys by showing nothing will come of the situation. I honestly feel this card at the bottom may be even meant for you to say you need to know when it is time to leave something that keeps on hurting you in this way. There we go, Gemini. Sorry if to have such a reading that's so kind of like hard like this. Um, I don't sometimes like it when it comes out like this. But at the same time, I know that um, Spirit Guide wants to get the right message through to you guys, especially if this is resonating with you and you know this is what somebody has been doing to you. I just think Spirit Guide does not want to see you hurt like this any longer. There we go, guys. Thank you so much for coming into this reading. I'm wishing you all the best moving forward. Bye.